Hi and welcome back again to Lavender Cocoa Kitchen. Well if you like my family and you eat a lot of chickpeas, you're going to have a lot of chickpea liquid which is called aquafaba. And now instead of throwing this away, it actually whips up into a beautiful meringue exactly like egg white. So it's a great vegan alternative to meringue. And it's got so many uses, you can use it as a topping for tarts or pies or even cakes so you can make it into ice cream and it's also like great just put on top of fresh fruit as a really quick dessert so today i'll show you how to make this wonderful meringue so as you know meringue uses a fair bit of sugar and this recipe also has quite a bit of sugar but it's got less than traditional meringue and also instead of refined sugar I'm using coconut sugar but since the meringue works better with a very fine powdered sugar I'll show you how easy it is to make coconut sugar into powdered sugar just in the blender so we're just going to put like a couple of cups of sugar in the blender it doesn't really matter how much just whatever you want to make so it's just a matter of blending it now so we just blend it on high for about 30 seconds Okay, so as you can see, it's changed color. It's become a lot lighter and obviously a lot finer. So we've now got powdered coconut sugar, which is perfect for making the meringue. Okay, so here we have aquafaba, which is the chickpea liquid left after boiling the chickpeas. So I just use uh, three quarters of a cup, which I think I have the exact amount in here. I'll just pour it in there. So now I have a product here, it's called xanthan gum. And this is made when sugar is fermented. And it's used a lot in vegan and gluten-free baking to help stabilize food or thicken food. So here it's used to help stabilize the meringue and give it a better texture. So if you don't have it, you can actually make it without this, but this actually does make the meringue better and a more like a really good meringue. So it's probably a good idea to use it. You only need a quarter of a teaspoon. So just put that in there. So I'm just going to add uh, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. It just gives a nicer flavour. Okay, now we're going to whip it and see the magic happen. <laughs> It's always actually really fun to see this humble chickpea liquid turn into this beautiful glossy meringue. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, when the, it starts to form stiff peaks like that, 
Then it's time to add the powdered coconut sugar. So while you're beating, just add in a spoonful at a time and add it gradually so it dissolves in between. So we'll just start the beater again. So as you can see, we now have a beautiful glossy meringue. And because the coconut sugar is obviously a darker color, it has given the meringue a nice caramel tint and also a nice flavor as well. That's pretty much all there is to it. So as I said, you can use it as a topping for pies or tarts. And it can be browned under the grill at about 150 degrees, but you have to watch it really carefully because it burns really fast. So probably no more than one to two minutes at the most. And then you can eat it just the way it is. It, it tastes really nice. You can put it on fresh fruit or you can whip coconut cream or you can blend fruit. And then you just fold it through the mixture and put it in the freezer and it makes a really nice ice cream that doesn't set too hard either, which is a bonus. And, um, but if you're not freezing it, it's probably better to use it on the day that you make it because it does tend to deflate fairly quickly, but it, can, it will stay in the fridge probably a couple of days and be okay. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.